The Xiaomi Mix Flip is my favorite small flip phone so far and I can't even get this in the States. Luckily, this is the global version so everything Google related still works and it also has Gemini. So I'm going to talk about the camera experience and just my general thoughts of this phone. So moving straight into the camera quality, I think it's pretty good for a flip phone. I'm not going to expect to have the same or better quality than the regular phones out there, but for general use, taking selfies and video and just capturing the moment, this is just good enough. Now the downside for me is it doesn't have an ultra wide lens but the main 50 megapixel camera is just wide enough for selfies or when I'm vlogging, it doesn't feel like it's so up in my face. But in very tight situations like when I'm walking in the plane, then I would prefer the ultra wide lens because there's not a lot of space for me to extend my arm. And since this does have the like authentic profile, you do get the more aesthetic moody or look. So I feel like when you're taking photos, this is great to automatically apply that aesthetic look to your images. Since I am a fan of this look, I don't really need to do much editing afterwards. So I think Xiaomi phones are perfect for photographers and you can always switch back to the authentic vibrant color profile if you want that typical cell phone look. Now having the flip form factor is perfect for vlogging since you do have a small screen to see yourself. And also putting it down on random tables just to get a quick clip of yourself doing whatever for your video. For example, you want to explore the airport and you can just place it down without needing any extra gear. Now it might not be the best shot but it's still better to have a shot than no shot. One thing I am missing that the Galaxy Z Flip does have is having that horizontal aspect ratio when you're placing the phone on a table because on a Xiaomi you're pretty much forced to shoot vertically and what if you want to shoot it for a YouTube video instead of a TikTok or Instagram story and I feel like it's more natural vlogging with this phone and it's a bit more discreet too since you're technically using the back cameras you are going to get the better quality it's not like regular phones where you would have to turn the whole phone around and it can get awkward when people are walking towards you and they're just looking at your screen you can still do this with the Xiaomi Mix Flip but at least it turns your whole screen black so it's not as awkward and shooting in this way too you are going to get the better selfies and it's more apparent when you're shooting in darker environments or when it's nighttime the image is sharper is more contrast there and you do get some of that natural background blur now since it doesn't have an ultra wide lens you probably can't get a really big group selfie shot but it does come with the 50 megapixel floating telephoto lens so if you do need to zoom in a bit then the quality is better from that standpoint another pro about having this form factor is you can bend it a little bit to hold it like you're using a camcorder now it can be a bit more comfortable shooting in specific positions or vertically you can bend it a little bit to get a lower shot. Next up is the 4 inch outer screen and by far this is also my favorite one. Since it is a lot bigger than a Galaxy Z Flip 6, I can see myself easier and on top of doing the regular basic stuff outside of the camera. The only slightly annoying thing is since it doesn't know which hand I'm using, I would have to twist it around to change the orientation of the shutter button so my thumb can reach it. In photo mode, there is an option to tap the screen to take a picture which I have that on so it's not bad. It's only when I'm vlogging, when I'm taking videos, that option doesn't work. That also applies with the hand gesture too. So outside of the camera experience, I really like the screen using other apps. Now in the settings, it doesn't allow you to put all the apps you want. It's just very specific ones, but luckily the ones that they give you are the ones I use the most anyway, so I'm not really affected by it. Once you open an app, you can see that it doesn't take up the whole screen, which is something the motor razor would do. And even though these apps are smaller technically, their aspect ratio and the user experience feels like it's a smaller version of the normal app. So the user experience in my opinion feels more natural and it's not awkward where it's trying to scale up and certain buttons are laid out awkwardly and then you have a smaller section above the cameras where it's for the widgets it can be useful for some people where you can always see what music is playing or you can change track right away, the weather and time. But most importantly for me is having that recent app page. Instead of swiping up going back to the home screen, I can easily press on TikTok while I scroll through Instagram and just switch back and forth a lot quicker. Now the only big user experience I would need to get used to is double pressing on the volume down button to turn on the camera since it's really common on most Androids that I use is the power button. Now the last thing I want to point out is the free case that comes in the box. I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's very slippery and it does add on a bit of bulkiness. And since I'm vlogging and taking pictures in clamshell mode, I am twisting and turning the phone a lot. So having a very slippery case does not help in that situation. But other than that, the Xiaomi Mix Flip has earned my top spot for my favorite flip phone to use. I know it's not perfect by any means, but with how I use this phone, it's almost there. So if I were to go on vacation, I feel like I would naturally grab this phone just to take pictures and vlog. Because the camera experience is so easy to use, it fits right in your pocket. When I want to share a picture on IG Story, 
story, I can do it right away since this is a phone. Of course, you can bring a dedicated camera to do the same thing and get better quality, but it is a bigger object that you have to lug around all day. And if you want to share that picture right away, then there is a process of transferring. And if you're doing that multiple times throughout the day, it does get annoying and you would probably stop. Of course, all of this is personal preference because you are trading the convenience for quality. So those are my thoughts and experience of using the Xiaomi Mix Flip. So let me know your thoughts on this phone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.